This is the VOA Special English Technology Report. Nurses spend their lives helping other people recover from injuries and illnesses. Yet nurses suffer a surprising number of injuries and illnesses themselves because of their work. In fact, the United States Department of Labor says nursing is the second leading profession for on-the-job injuries. It ranks higher than construction work and law enforcement. Only freight and stock movers report higher injury rates. Nurses and other healthcare workers do a lot of heavy lifting on the job. Lifting and moving patients improperly leads to sprains, strains, and muscle tears, leading causes of injuries to nurses. Gretchen Gregory is an instructor at the Sinclair School of Nursing on the Columbia campus of the University of Missouri. She says back problems are the greatest threat that nurses face when they lift or move patients. You're talking about people that have handicaps or limited mobility that need much assistance. And we have untrained people to do that assisting, and that puts them at risk for hurting their backs. Ms. Gregory leads a new training room where nurses can learn to keep themselves and their patients safe. She says most nurses lack training in how to lift patients. That's not something that we teach in school, but that's when falls happen and that's when nurses get hurt. The Safe Practices Room has special training equipment, including a life-size mannequin doll. This patient can be filled with water and made to weigh as much as 159 kilograms. Ms. Gregory says most American hospitals have lifting equipment to help nurses move patients. But she says the equipment is often pushed back in a corner somewhere, unused and forgotten. She says the Safe Practices Room teaches the importance of using the tools and skills available. The training room also seeks to improve communication skills and other practices in a setting designed to copy a busy hospital or clinic. As Gretchen Gregory puts it, if we provide an environment where everything's nice and quiet and they can give their medications or they can communicate to a physician when there's nothing going on, that's not really a real life setting. They have to be able to do it with some distraction. An unidentified donor gave $300,000 to build the new room. The University of Missouri describes it as one of the first of its kind at a nursing school in the United States. You can find pictures of it at voaspecialenglish.com. For VOA Special English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.